So the letter that was filed today indicates that the Manhattan District Attorney's Office is not going to be dismissing the charges uh, against Donald Trump. Uh, that were the subject of a jury verdict of guilty on 34 felony counts. Um, instead, what they're saying to the judge is that they need a little bit more time to put together their response um, to an anticipated motion to dismiss um, by Trump's legal team on the basis that the case cannot proceed now that Trump is president-elect. Um, that is a new basis for dismissing the charges that has not yet been briefed before this court. Today, what I'm reading in this motion is an openness to delaying the sentencing um, until after Trump leaves office, um, such that the appellate process uh, could, uh, could take place with respect to the court's decisions on the motions to dismiss in the meantime. Thank you very much, everybody. This is uh, a case where if they can do this to me, they can do this to anyone. These are bad people. Well, the longer it get, gets put off, the less likely it is that it will proceed. I think that's just sort of the nature of judicial proceedings, um, that the longer it is put off, the more things that can happen um, that would interfere with it actually taking place. Um, I thought the headline from today's letter was that the district attorney is not dismissing the charges, um, but I didn't expect that they would. Um, but the other headline is that they're not pushing aggressively to proceed um, through to sentencing. Maybe unlike any other in American history, we arrived at this trial and ultimately today at this verdict in the same manner as every other case that comes to the courtroom doors, by following the facts and the law and doing so without fear or favor. We need to see how um, Judge Marchand responds to today's filing. I mean, it is important to bear in mind that although the district attorney's office is indicating that it is willing uh, to stay the proceedings pending the court's resolution of this now new motion um, based on immunity, and the court could decide to proceed and issue the opinion that he had probably already written with respect to the other immunity question. Um, so the judge does have some discretion here to move things forward. Um, it's unlikely that he would do so, if particularly that he would proceed to sentencing if the district attorney's office is consenting to an adjournment. Um, but I am waiting to see how Judge Morshan reacts because he doesn't have to follow the lead of the district attorney here. It is very frustrating to see the cases um, not reach their conclusion, regardless of what one might think about um, the wisdom of bringing some of these cases. To have them essentially die on the vine is very frustrating. It sort of essentially um, satisfies nobody. Um, and it's um, particularly with respect to the Manhattan case that did reach a verdict. I think it is an extraordinary um, uh, development that it would not go forward to the final stage of sentencing um, because of uh, the fact that Trump has now been elected president um, and that he was responsible for so many of the delays in that case among the others. Um, so the notion that somebody could run out the clock um, on their criminal prosecution is, I think, very um, disheartening. 
Um, and you know, it, perhaps it forces us to, to think about the fact that the public has a right to a speedy trial, right? Not just a defendant in a criminal case. Thank you.